scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hallelujah. When a man truly has an encounter with God, one of the things that must happen is transformation. transformation transformation a change of mindset a change of values a change of ideology a change of perception something must happen to your mentality listen the word of god is a programming the word of god is a programming i told us last week i went somewhere for a, a crusade and they were asking me they say what is the advice to nigerian youth i said i don't have any advice for the nigerian youth the nigerian youth they don't need an advice they need a programming a change are you getting my point now a change let me have someone aaron good to see you hallelujah watch this if this is the direction aaron is headed all right if he's following this direction i hope you know that he's taking this step based on a mindset is that true based on an ideology based on a conviction whether academic whether cultural whether religious it doesn't matter now what the word of god does is that when you collide with god through his word there must be a force from the word greater than the force that was initially driving you and that force changes your state this is what we call repentance to repent is not just to confess your sin to repent is to lay down the ideology that take you into that realm and bring you into a new philosophy so that we can look at you and see that your thinking pattern has changed let me tell you if your thought life does not change if your mindset does not change you can limit god in your life hallelujah the bible says they limited god in the wilderness as mighty as God is, a man's mentality can limit God. For a long time, God wanted to bless Abraham. But the mindset of the traditional worship, the mindset of the culture he was coming from, limited God. God kept beckoning on him. I want to make you a father of nations. I want to make you great. But Abraham's mind could not cooperate with that which the spirit wanted to do. And one day the Lord said, Abraham, come out of your house. I, I, I need to do something to your mind to align with my purposes for your life. Abraham, come out. He said, now look at the stars. Let me give you something to play around with. And when he tried counting the stars, he said, can you count them? He said, no. He said, so shall thy seed be. Finally, Abraham believed God and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Hallelujah. The power of God is not short to change and bring miracles and breakthroughs. It's just that we have been taught. And, and, and it's my job in the body of Christ to always address imbalances and error. On one side, we've been taught that everything depends on God. You have no role to play. You just be born again and there is a smooth ride. Common sense teaches you that it does not make sense. Are you following me now? Then on the other hand, we have men who are struggling, 
just using concepts alone and human philosophy forgetting that there must be a god factor in the equation of your life both extremes are very very wrong all through scripture from genesis to revelation there has always been a partnership between god through his spirit and a willing vessel that can pay the price and allow his mindset to subscribe to the higher values of heaven hallelujah the difference between brother a and brother b is not the color of their skin is their degree of alignment to the holy spirit how much they have submitted their mindset to take up the higher mindset of the values listen the bible says my thoughts are higher than your thoughts is that true and and that word the the, the greek word word there word of god is logos it means the thoughts of god so the word of god gives you his ideology when you read my books you study my persuasions you study my convictions is that true so if you stay long enough with my books and you open up yourself to the influence of my thought patterns you will begin to think like me even if you've never met me we will talk as though we've been together this is the ministry of the word it's not just to make us speak christian language no the word of god is supposed to transcend it produces a force that force compels your mind to change to align to spiritual things so that when god wants to pass through your life your ideologies will not resist him hallelujah bless you Aaron. everybody say transformation are you being transformed it's not enough to come to church and sit down and keep writing is the word of god changing you you can limit the power of the word of god some of you can choose to walk out of this place wow nice sermon so this is how koinonia is like wonderful i'm impressed i'm blessed that can be your the the, the things that you are carrying back home and someone else can sit down and say lord i'm aware that my mindset is the reason why i am where i am my mindset has been limiting your work in my life you want to bless me but there's something in my life that resists you you want to lift me you want to make me great but there's something and i am aware so i come to man he needs to step into your soul realm and take complete charge of your mind your mindset so that your ideologies are a derivative of the word of god not culture there are aspects of culture that are good there are aspects of culture that are devilish devilish they were crafted out by wicked men sponsored by spirits that are not under the influence of the spirit of god and many of us have grown up with these ideologies and although you've gone to school although you are working although you are married that mindset is stopping god from doing certain things in your life many of us have gotten mindsets by from our past you have a mindset concerning fatherhood you have a mindset concerning marriage you have a mindset concerning money concerning prosperity concerning poverty concerning god concerning the holy spirit these are all mindsets that have been given unto us by a system that does not honor god so when we come into his presence we do not come just to say lord add to what i have sometimes you need to say lord open me up like a surgery right and pick out everything that does not align with your divine pattern everybody say transformation listen if the word of god is truly changing you then regardless of the fact that aaron is from kaduna state and ken is from the east you should have similarities in mindset because you have you have laid down your personal culture to pick up the excellence of the culture of a higher kingdom hallelujah but the issue is that many of us love seeing the power of god we love seeing the grace of god 
we love seeing people fall under the anointing and miracles happen and there's nothing wrong with that except for the fact that is the word of god changing you the, the decisions you made last year if you still make those decisions today in spite of the power of god's word then that's what they call frustrating the grace of god hallelujah the bible says the days of our ignorance god overlooks right so if you do not know god can create a system by his mercy to help you but where the word of the lord comes it comes to build you it comes to take you out of your current position hallelujah say i allow the word of god to change me say it i allow the word of god to change me the worst evil you can do to yourself is to hold on to your mindset hold on to what you had that made you such a failure it was the failure that brought you to the presence of god and now god is saying lay down this thing pick up another culture that can take you your ministry is grounded because of a mindset that is keeping you lay down that mindset and pick up another your marriage is not working because there is a mindset that is keeping you your relationship is not working because there is a mindset men run away from you because there is a mindset women run away because there is a mindset the power of god is far favor is far from your life because there is an ideology that stands as an antichrist but when you come to god's presence he tells you lay down this mindset lay down this mindset that's your own responsibility to say lord all my life i've been taught that you must be a hustler to make it hit it left right and center i saw my father hustling i saw my mother hustling i saw my elder ones hustling and god says uh -uh, the kingdom of god is not haphazard come and let me teach you how the economic system of the kingdom works and you're like lord is there even a system and he says yes there is you can walk circumspectly hallelujah all your life you've always known that if a lady wants to marry she'll go to a herbalist with the picture of the person he wants to marry and one goat that's all you've seen people around you dragging goats to herbalist to chain a brother and force him to get married that's how you know it to be done now you are ready to get married and they say oh yeah where is your own goat and god is saying uh-uh uh-uh he says seek out of the book and read none shall want her mate so a new ideology starts coming and i'm telling you if you are changing it will create blessings and create persecutions at the same time because you live in an environment with people who have refused to change so your change begins to frustrate them if they are not fighting you you are not changing are you hearing what i'm saying something must change about your life everyone is used to bribing if you want job give this person through the back door 50,000 and they tell you look we're all Christians in fact I'm a pastor as you see me like this we all did it and the moment you want to do that a scripture rises up in you something changes is there anything too hard for me to do I am that I am and a scripture wells up in you what fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness and what communion has light got to do with darkness and you turn and tell them i'm going to cry but my god will give me this job i will not bribe anybody no bribery and they say look at how stupid you are talking nigeria this thing has been there he said uh -uh, i may be a nigerian but i function from another realm there is a kingdom that sponsors my life and i'm an ambassador and i can call on the embassy i represent it may take a while i may look stupid but god is able to make it happen the moment you speak you mount pressure on god because he's the one you are representing and for the sake of his reputation you cause him to step down but many of us are ashamed 
at such points he said i went to school how can i start talking about embassy heaven i please let's let's be reasonable what is fifty thousand? hallelujah before now your ideology has been the quickest way to be rich is pin down one rich man just find a re even if he's not born again you will change him pin him down force him to marry you that's how they've been taught and there are many people here as you're sitting down some is your parents they've indirectly warned you they say have we not suffered in this life you say yes we have suffered say do you want us to continue like this they say no sir say talk complete the puzzle by yourself what they are telling you indirectly is that no matter how born again this brother is once he has not arrived the promises are not there pack your load and go and some of you that's how you are looking and god is sending a very godly brother you are seeing him pray here he's sweating in your presence he's hearing the word of god that can change but because he has not gotten to canaan while you are sitting down kicking away men you will see a quick work that god will do in him all of a sudden saul who was a slave or a, 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 a somebody else will come in power and glory and you will now look and say ah oh god why didn't you show me a vision that this guy would change so fast say mindset say it some of you are already angry it's too early i've not started preaching it's too early this night could it be that there is a mindset that is frustrating you there are many pastors who are suffering and struggling in ministry because their mindsets about ministry will never change i said it last week they are looking for lifting quickly they want everybody to call them a pastor you call them aaron they say aaron you didn't add pastor that's a mindset because you think that is the title that gives the dignity He said if you call yourself the children of abraham do the works of abraham proof that you are the children of abraham indeed you don't move around saying i'm an apostle i'm a prophet i'm a teacher he said let her works speak for her at the gates who is god speaking to tonight your mindset is limiting him your mindset is limiting god your mindset is limiting god every brother that comes to marry you something happens and he leaves we have prayed for you we knew the day you were delivered so we are sure you are delivered but things have not changed that means there is a mindset problem listen it's not everything that is demons you must learn to take responsibility many of us receive solace in the fact that demons when you hear them say it's not your fault you say yes i've always known it's your fault this night you must take responsibility i've always known from my father's house they want to kill me but you were delivered everybody saw that god changed you why have things not changed because your mindset is a bigger demon an antichrist that is standing between canaan and egypt hallelujah there are christians who still cheat in the exam hall they say forget it i saw a pastor doing it with my own eyes ah I, I even know him if i mention his name you i saw him so what hallelujah what about living all kinds of immoral life in the world the primary purpose of relationship is for immorality it's not even for marriage it's just a an official way of looking for a partner to be sleeping around with so when a guy thinks he doesn't have enough courage to look around for ladies he goes to find somebody and say okay we're in a relationship they don't even know where they are going hallelujah and there are believers who love god some of you are here you are looking at me you see i'm not condemning you but i'm saying that 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 gone must come face to face with the world and when it comes one must bow you cannot embrace these things and say let's go together it can go we can walk it 
no you cannot walk it light and darkness cannot stay in the same place don't say it does not matter let me tell you the truth if you want to see the authentic glory of God in your life no it matters and I always say this because many of us here are young people don't let anybody fool you and say everybody is doing it no sir there are people who have tapped into a higher law the Bible says who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord until you climb that hill it does not look like it's possible are you getting my point I counsel people I talk to people and there are people who come and say I love God but I women hey I, I can't see women I don't ah, is, is it really true that there are people who are keeping themselves it's not by determination hallelujah if it's by determination maybe I would have had children that, that would do children's service for koinonia but there is a grace that takes you so although you are human people say i beg jerry you are flesh and blood no but there is a spirit that lives inside you the bible says know ye not that your body listen choose to believe this this night don't let it sound childish to you choose to believe if it was not possible god would be a wicked person for putting that as a principle hallelujah transformation there are some of us who can kill for money that's your own mindset you overcame ladies from bed you don't even have a problem with ladies because you you want to make it even if a lady stands naked in your front once there's no money on her you are living you are not the devil can the devil has been defeated when it comes to that one but money ha, ha, ha. you can be dying if they wave money you come back to life there are people like that they love money they can just put money on their table and just be looking at it like this they are not using it it's, it's, doing, it's like a drug they are taking your worst time in church is when they say giving of all sorts even if they don't mention you the fact that somebody else is going to drop money you take it personal You are not giving, but just seeing that money is leaving somebody is it, paining you. Something is moving in your body. Advise this guy to take it back. It's a spirit, it's a dangerous spirit. Hallelujah. There are many of us who have certain mindsets of laziness. Laziness. Hallelujah. A man will sleep till one o'clock in the afternoon you are a man when do you want to marry next year till one o'clock you are still sleeping and you will see one of our sisters who has been trusting God preparing herself like a bride for a very nice person you just believe that because we say hug one another in koinonia it gives you a license to just get up carelessly and just go and meet a sister and say Shebi, they said let's get to know one another no are you preparing for that future i'm challenging you tonight say transformation what mindset have you refused to drop down romans chapter 12 Can you imagine that I've not even touched my message? Hallelujah. Romans chapter 12. Say the word of the Lord is changing me. Say it is changing me. It's building me. Romans chapter 12. Okay. Let's just turn there. I beseech you therefore brethren by the message of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service verse 2 and be not conformed 
to this world but be ye what be ye how do you get transformed by the renewing of your mind you get transformed when you take your mind to the theater of the spirit and a surgery is performed the spirit of god himself and the surgical knife is the word of god that is able to cut across the bones and the marrows and it opens you up and begins to edit your life and when it is done you come back a brand new person hallelujah there are many of us those around you who are unbelievers there's no pressure that your life is bringing to them in fact they are more they are comfortable a guy can i'm not talking of condemnation and just pointing fingers at people and say you are going to hell no but that there is an illumination that your transformation can bring to anybody that is not serious with god that if somebody's prayer life is dying he doesn't even need to tell you all he needs to say is can i come and spend weekend in your house or in your room and they are so sure that at the end of three days something will change in their lives hallelujah there are some channels if you are walking in sin you will never want to turn to those channels perpetually 24 hours you will hear a message almost immediately within a space of five minutes that will judge you dove tv redeemed rtm you know that once you are doing something wrong you want to look for another channel that can accommodate what you are doing when you turn to those ones you hear papa adebo just give five minutes something is already flogging the nonsense in you can your life be like that that people are gossiping and and talking stories about others and as soon as you step in everybody just keeps quiet because a true ambassador stepped in one who will not compromise not that when you step in say hey come add add to this discussion what what were you even saying that day no hallelujah that in your office when they are mentioning men and women of integrity your name must be mentioned and they know that no if you want to throw this person try it another way bribery will not work even if it means him being demoted just forget it there is no issue of having a meeting with him it will not happen come on now listen if this is not happening in this place then we are wasting our time i don't care how many people fall on the ground roll on the ground even if you float in the air if it does not translate to transformation in your life then we are lying somewhere hallelujah so is your mindset changing ask your neighbor says your mindset changing what did he tell you ask him who can verify that you are changing you can't call somebody that you bought something for in the afternoon to verify whether you are changing or not the answer will certainly be yes your enemy is the only person with the right to testify whether you truly fear God or not it was Satan that came to testify about Job is that true Satan himself he said ah no come on now I've seen a man Job Satan the father of all liars a man's integrity compels Satan to tell the truth he said I know I'm a liar I can twist things but this one there's nothing I can say against this man May that be your testimony that somebody can look at you and say i know i hate ken let me tell you i hate him but when you are talking about a man who is a christian indeed i'm an i i'm an unbeliever as you see me i don't fear god i let me go to hell but i can tell you this person have you seen people like that 
they don't respect God, they look at you and say, see, see cigarette in my pocket, but I can point to you who are the real men of God. And you even be talking. It was in Antioch when unbelievers called this set of people Christians. Those who were behaving like Christ. Not religiously, something had happened to them. See, if your mindset does not change and you are trying to fake it, it will frustrate you. Are you getting what I'm saying? One day you will be tired. If you don't have a revelation of giving and you are giving, 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 one day when there's nobody, you say, Kai, I'm tired, honestly. Thank God this, my wicked roommate, is not going to follow me for Koinonia today. I'm tired. That's how you can see many people serve in the body of Christ. Immediately they leave to another geographical location within two or three months. They've changed in a way. You'll be like, uh-uh. This brother used to lead prayers. What suddenly happened? They really did not get it. I'm telling you. There is a way you get it. It becomes like a cancer in you. No matter how much you fall, you can't go too far. The, the, the fraternity is too much. It's like a cult. When you see people claim to love God and two months away from an environment of God's presence, they just change. They really did not get it. You can be among believers i hope you know doing what everybody is doing but everybody knows the foundation and the root where he's standing and the bible says let he that stands take heed lest he falls so number one transformation number two three things that must happen in your life you're ready number two is that your life must bear fruits it must produce results write it fruits results the fruit in a tree is a sign that that tree has been well nourished and that it is alive and growing jesus caused a fig tree not because he did not see green leaves he caused the fig tree because it was taking up nutrients from the earth but it was not producing fruits your life must prove that god is at work in you not just by transformation transformation is good we talk about character and conformity but there must be results in your life everyone say results bishop oyedeko said the end of every argument is proof you don't argue with proof are you getting my point now when john the baptist sent that they should go and ask jesus are you the messiah or should we expect another jesus did not even answer he just turned started healing the sick casting out devils he said go and tell john what you have seen is this not the evidence that was given to him in the wilderness that the messiah would do now see me doing it why are you asking again hallelujah when you are a christian and you are excellent in your job they give you a task to do you do it with with a dimension of intelligence that is not known to those people there is a proof there are you hearing what i'm saying when you keep loving god and you get to a point look let me tell you if you serve god with time everything around your life should change i'm not one of those people who believes that you should just sit down of course in the process there are lots of things to contend against but with time there must be fruit that sign upon your life that god is with you even if you work for the devil even if you work for the devil one day ultimately he's going to destroy you but at least in the interim you will reap the dennet the bent the dividends of allegiance is that true there are all kinds of worldly people who are about to tag on and although they are going to hell if they do not repent but in the interim they are enjoying heaven on earth at least that's the consolation to keep them satan took jesus to a mountain and said jesus if you will bow to me i promise you ah yeah i have i've not started preaching you know that's the problem you will just look now and see that it's past nine I wish there was a way I can throw all these clocks out of this, this place. 
There's so much in my spirit to share. Hallelujah. Everybody say results. Say proofs. If you claim God is calling you in a healing ministry, it's okay that when we start, nothing is happening. But with time, there should be the signature of God upon your healing ministry. I do not know any healing evangelist who organizes a crusade and God does not confirm it. If he's a true healing evangelist, somebody should be sick. Somebody should arise from the wheelchair. I do not know one true person who carries the apostolic spirit of God who struggles with fear and timidity and does not have the power of faith and the work of God in their lives I do not know one person like that except they are just talking stories are you getting what I'm saying say after me in the name of Jesus may my life produce results Many of you, this is the level you are right now. The reason why nobody has listened to you or subscribed to your ideologies is because they have not seen the benefit. Is that true? And, 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 and I want to be very honest with you. Benefit in every area of life. Financially, maritally, job-wise, in every area of your life. No matter how critical people are, let me tell you, proof can close the mouth of anybody. Are you getting me? You can criticize a man. The greatest way to respond to your critics is not by answering. Don't waste your time. They are determined not to understand. Keep trailing the proofs. Let the works keep speaking at the gates. A point will come. Those they are talking to will say, I'm tired of hearing your stories. You waste your own proof. Hallelujah. When Jesus hung upon the cross, about to die, the Bible says the atmospheric condition, the climate just changed. And those who looked there, they just remembered and truly they acknowledged. Even in death, they saw something. There are many of us, it will just take one proof. Everybody say one proof. One proof for every unbeliever in your house to bow down. They've grown in poverty. They've suffered in poverty. Although that's not an ultimate reason to push them to God. But trust me, prosperity can bring men to God. Hallelujah. When every herbal medicine has failed, when every black substance, they, they tied in the leather and they told your father to chuck in the pocket of all his trousers to bring prosperity. When he has put it in every pocket and it refused to bring prosperity and you come teaching the principles of the kingdom and things begin to change, come on now. You don't argue with proofs. Hallelujah. May your life produce results in the name of Jesus Christ. May you not be like the barren fig tree. A fig tree with green leaves. That means they are seeing you coming for koinonia every week. Every week. To an extent that others can look at you and mock you and say, where is your God? I prophesy to you, your God is coming through for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, your God is coming through to silence every Pharaoh that attempts to mock your God. Your life will produce results in the name of Jesus Christ. Results. I believe in results. I believe in results. Many of you are here by the grace of God, not necessarily because you love me. Some of you don't even love me at all. You don't plan to. It's just that you need the results. Hallelujah. But you are still welcome. And the power of God is such that the results can be reproduced again and again and again. That's why I love the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You don't need to refrigerate it. You don't need to give your neighbor to keep it for you and collect it on. Except you use talisman. That's why I worship him. Take his presence and his glory out of my life. Many of you will see me on the street and pass as if you just saw a tire on the floor. 
that's why i feel sad for people who want to come out of inferiority and complex and kick they kick god out of the equation and they believe they'll be able to rise without him impossible impossible if you are tired of your condition the greatest way is to embrace god first hallelujah because god will take you out of every situation results your life must bear fruit in the name of the lord jesus christ say my life must bear fruit go ahead pray in one minute pray in one minute i don't just want us to talk it as stories my life must bear fruit shekata ba 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 my life must bear fruit my life must bear fruit i've been born again for many years no soul has come to the kingdom as a result of my life lord i'm tired i've been praying for the sick I don't have one verifiable testimony let this change oh god everyone i've prayed for for breakthrough they've returned with worse situations instead of making it better but lord i've told them you are with me change my story the finance of my family has not changed lord i'm not loving you just because of finances but if my finances change my father will follow me to church if my finances change if my loved ones get admission they will come to know you for their sake oh god let there be results in my life please pray i sense that god wants us to pray on this issue my life must bear fruits my life must bear fruits my life must bear fruits oh god i'm tired of a barren and unfruitful christian life my ministry is not growing pray because there's no proof my god people come and they leave if there are real miracles if there are real transformations they will come and stay everyone mocks my family in spite of our spirituality because they have not seen god change our level turn again oh god the captivity of zion like the streams of the negev let men see an evidence that God is with us. Pray. Say, Lord, let the marriage come. Even if it is to prove that Jesus is alive. To prove that the witches and the wizards and the devils in my village do not have the final say. Lord, I know that there is a cause of poverty that lingers in my family but i've confessed your word that it is broken let it show in my life as a testament so that idol worship can stop in my family we have no right to tell men to stop going to harvest if we cannot produce the proofs that god is with us we have no right to tell people to stop going to the devil to get children if we cannot heal the body we have no right to tell people to stop going to the devil to get money if we cannot prove that god prospers people lift your voice and pray get angry change my story change my story oh god i have served you in spite of the result but tonight i hold on to you change my story pray koinonia there is a spirit of intercession that has come upon the house pray change my story change my story change my story prove a point with my life make me an object of praise
silence the voice of wicked men many are they that rise up against me many are they that say where is his help but i will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help my help comes from the maker of the heavens and the earth oh god let there be a difference between those that serve you and those that do not serve you come on saints of god travel for your destiny there must be an evidence you have been transformed but there are no results there are no results men have a right to speak against your god lord hasten my miracle come on pray hasten my miracle hasten the breakthrough please pray god is answering people in this place lord give my father the job although my auntie is past menopause give her a child as a sign and a wonder that god is alive although my sister is 40 years old give her a husband that men may know that god is alive although my father was sacked from the job give him another one oh god to prove that you may be a prophet over my family lord you have vowed to increase my greatness produce results in my life come on koinonia pray produce results in my life that can silence men produce results that can prove that my god is alive i love him more than the results but in this season i desire to see the results command it command it increase my greatness let the blind see through my hands oh god for your glory pray let the wheelchair arise to silence principalities and powers open the heavens oh god and let prosperity come upon my life where i'll be rejected no man wants to identify with me make me an eternal excellency come on are you praying koinonia and a joy of many generations hallelujah 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 we'll take one prayer point before we settle down you're going to pray and say lord every power that stops my miracles from the heavenlies so that men will keep mocking my god tonight i command you to give way come on lift your voice and pray daniel prayed for 21 days the angel came and said daniel from the first day that you set yourself to pray your prayers were answered but the prince of Persia, the prince of Persia, the prince of Persia, pray i subdue powers i subdue powers that operate in the heavenlies territorial spirits i subdue powers in the heavenly realms i subdue powers workers of evil You must bow there is fire in my life there is fire in my destiny to burn every chaff everything god has not planted shake it off shake it off shake it from your life i shake away witchcraft i shake away divination i shake away enchantment come on now shake it off in the name of jesus no power can stand i am an infant of fire no enchantment no curse can stand against my destiny 
pray your prayer will bear fruit it will produce results pray the effectual fervent prayer is our season of greatness we wage war against poverty we wage war against sickness we wage war against the works of darkness is our season to arise Come on now, pray. Make your life too hot for the devil. Make your life too hot for witches and wizards. Make your life too hot for wicked spirits. Break the yoke from your neck. Break the yoke from your shoulders. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Tell the devil, I stand in my priestly and my prophetic office. Tonight, I confront you by myself. I confront you by myself. I confront you by myself. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 There must come a time in your life where you stop getting afraid and rise up and say, Satan, I've had the word enough. I don't need to wait for Friday again. Come into my room like Mount Camel. Let's solve this problem once and for all. They've not laid hands on me for nothing. They've not laid hands on me for nothing. One more time, we are going to pray. Come on, pray. This is breakthrough hey. prayers. This is breakthrough prayers. I sense the spirit of prayer and supplication. I must pray to on every side there is power in prayer there is power when the same pray there is power when you pray no contact with the spirit there is power Pray. Enough is enough. Weary the devil. Weary the devil. By the power of prophetic prayer, resist the devil. He will flee. Hallelujah. I feel an open heaven. I know when there is an open heaven. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. I taught you on the speaking blood. We are going to apply the blood of Jesus. You are going to say, Satan, this is the price to release my destiny. I invoke the blood. Come on now, Koinonia. I invoke the blood. Every sacrifice that has been born and made, I invoke the blood. The blood of Jesus. I invoke the blood. I invoke the gates of shame through the blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The
Let me have four people. Let me show you what prayer does in the spirit. Let me just have four people stand here. Just, just turn like this. Face it. Stand. Just stand behind. Watch this. Watch this. Someone come and hold this. Anybody? This is your miracle. This is your breakthrough. But watch this. Stand there. Please shift forward. Paul said, listen. He said, a great door and an effectual has been opened unto me. He said, but many, many, many are the adversities. These are the spirits. He said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers against rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places watch this the bible says if any man afflicted let him pray if any man afflicted let him pray when you begin to pray watch this there is a force there is a force of the spirit that begins to mount pressure 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 on all of these things it's an ability of the spirit you push through barriers by the power of god's spirit until you take what belongs to you listen listen that's why god gives you one of the reasons why he gives you the prayer language of tongues praying in your understanding will weary you after 20 minutes the bible says you may not understand the dynamics on how to confront this spirit but when you switch to that prayer language the holy ghost hey yeah, 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 yeah. the holy ghost listen when you begin to pray something in the When your prayer life rises, you must let you go. If you can pray, the devil will let you go. If you can pray, the Hallelujah. See, listen. There is a way you can pray. You will know when you break through. The reason is, the truth is, many believers don't pray. Hallelujah. There is a way you can pray. You will know your spirit is lifted from that realm. 
you will know an audacity comes upon you you know you can shake off evil hallelujah one more prayer point before you sit down you're going to say in the name of jesus i take back everything the devil has taken from my family prophesy Hallelujah. 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 The hand of the Lord is upon me. And I want to prophesy. As I prophesy, the power of God will be causing breakthroughs and restoration. The anointing of the Spirit is strong upon me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command every power holding anyone down right now in the name of jesus i command you let them go let them go right now let them go i prophesy breakthrough i command breakthrough in the name of the lord jesus i command breakthrough to your family breakthrough financial breakthrough breakthrough in hell your academic in your job in the name of Jesus Amen. open heaven open heaven it's your season to rise it's your season of greatness every power stopping you we challenge it tonight in the name of Jesus please sit down God bless you be seated your life must become uncomfortable for anything that is not of God see I tell you the power of God is I sense such a strong anointing resting on people as I teach, God is going to be visiting people in very strong ways. Enough is enough. God gave us a word. He said, I will increase your greatness and comfort you on every side. I'm not sure I can go into the details of tonight's teaching, but... I hope I'll be able to touch. I really have a very serious revelation that I want to share. Let's see how far God can help us. Wherever we stop. Hallelujah. Genesis 1. Verse 26. The 
Lord gave us a word that this year for us is a season of light and dominion. It's not just a word like many ministries have a word at the beginning of the year. Hallelujah. Light. It's a day that certain Nephtha and Zebulun have seen a great light. A great light. Genesis 1 verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion let them this man i hope you know that when he was speaking the woman was still in the man because man adam not the name of a man dust hallelujah man was first created body has thou prepared for me hallelujah and then he brought about a separation between the man and the woman but before then he blessed them and he said let them have dominion now listen it is in the character of the spirit that the same word that brings you prophecy is the same word that prepares the way for that prophecy to come to pass are you getting my point the bible says when at the brook cherith when the brook dried he told elijah the prophet he said get thee go down to Zarephath." he said dear i have commanded a widow to feed thee but the woman did not sound like god had informed her a prophet was coming however the same word that took elijah to Zarephath was the same word that softened the heart of the woman so when god gives you a word the word follows you through and makes sure that the path is clear until that word comes to pass are you getting what i'm saying so when god said let man have dominion that means there must have been a provision for that man to access what it takes to walk in that dominion hallelujah god does not just speak empty talk it's like sending a man to the market and not giving him money so let's see how god equipped man to exercise dominion in reality hallelujah genesis chapter 2 i wish we had time but i'll just touch briefly wherever thank you jesus verse 8 and the lord planted a garden eastward in eden and there he put the man that he had formed and out of the ground made the lord to grow every tree that is pleasant in the sight and good for food now watch this everybody look up the bible says god made every other tree to grow from the ground are you following me however the bible says there were two trees those trees did not grow from the ground follow me are you getting my point the bible says god made to grow every tree pleasant to the eyes that is good for food then it says the tree of life also also in the midst of the garden and then it says and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil please follow me i want to teach you powerful spiritual laws that can help you to walk in dominion to eat of every tree including the tree of life are you getting my point the first revelation i want you to have is that man's eating the tree of life was not for hunger are you getting me adam could not be hungry he was not in the fallen state are you getting me in the realm of the spirit you don't eat for hunger for hunger you eat for impartation and knowledge that's what food does in the spirit food does not satisfy hunger no no when you eat food like let's say in spiritually now i'm not talking of all these demonic things that people you saw yourself eating sweet in the dream that's not what i'm talking about hallelujah you don't eat in the spirit to satisfy hunger food does two things for you in eden's atmosphere one it gives you knowledge 
Two, it gives you impartation. Hallelujah. That's why the prophet was giving the word and he ate it. When he ate it, it did something to him. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now watch this. Everybody write the mystery of forbidden knowledge. That's not the topic. I want to show you what the two trees were supposed to represent. One was the tree of life. The other was called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Another word was the, it, it carried what we call the mystery of forbidden knowledge. The word mystery just means hidden truths about a knowledge that God does not want his people to know. Not because he hates them. You must understand this. God does not want us to know everything. And then I will show you what the angels came and did. The fallen angels. When they came, they did something to the daughters of men. Are you getting me? They took from this forbidden knowledge and they began to feed mankind with it. Ah. Time, 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 time. Praise God. God categorically warned man. He said the trees in the garden of Eden, every time you eat them, they will do something to you. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, if you eat of the tree of life, it will keep giving you the revelation and the insight to walk in dominion. It gives life. Eating of that tree gives life. Are you getting me? That's the mystery of eternal life adumbrated by that tree. That's why when Jesus came, he said, uh -uh, man shall not live by bread alone. If man wants to live, he must keep eating something. Are you getting me? So, walking experientially for eternal life to be culminated in you, there is something that must be done in you. Please listen. And this is where I want to balance. This is what, where we get the concept of immortality. How many of you have heard all those teachings of immortality? Now, unfortunately, many people brought the teachings, but they did not understand how the operation. Immortality is not something you claim. Immortality is a product of eating of the tree of life again and again. It causes eternal life, not just to translate from your spirit to your soul, but to happen in your body. And that's where you say, oh death, where is your sting? Are you getting what i'm saying now it so happens that our rate of transformation is so slow are you getting me now that the degradation of the sin nature in our body catches up with us before these capsules of rejuvenation find expression in us this is why although the law of immortality is at work not many people will ever enter it the secret is not just prayer for long life. The secret is intercoursing with this eternal life. That was how Adam was supposed to live forever. Are you getting my point now? So by eating of the tree of life, that was why when he fell, God said, no, you can't eat of the tree of life again because the tree of life keeps you in whatever state you are and stops you from dying. If he ate of the tree of life, salvation redemption would not be possible again so god drove him out are you seeing that now god didn't just drive him because he was angry he drove man out of the garden because he loved him praise the lord what is this i want to explain to you what is this mystery of forbidden knowledge look up how many of you have heard of certain books called the books of moses right 10 books of Moses, 11 books of Moses. How many of you have heard of all these extra biblical references that were written by Egyptians and written by all kinds of people? Have you heard of those kinds of things? How many of you have heard of people that lived long ago in mountains who wrote certain books that were found? Now listen, if I don't teach you this because the Lord began to reveal to me that this is the strategy the devil is bringing when the angels do you know why god did not want man to know i hope you know that adam never knew adam never knew that before his coming there was a history hallelujah 
he had never eaten of the tree that gives the knowledge of good and with it comes evil are you getting me adam was supposed to eat of the tree of life and continue his intimacy with god and reproduce children after his kind when satan came into the garden satan did not make adam sleep with a dog no he knew that that would not get the agenda done he said man come there is one tree i want you to touch just taste it once it will do something to you are you getting what i'm saying now everybody say forbidden knowledge this is the information that through sorcery and witchcraft please hear me the fallen angels and all of these aliens and all of these devilish spirits they downloaded and brought to inhabitants in the earth are you getting me these were the informations that were given men like nimrod so they had super intelligence about certain things are you following me i want to shock you i hope you will believe me look at me did you know that most of our technological advancement are you getting me are as a result of fraternity with beings that were not in the earth are you getting me it had to be a supply of a level it's not just human discipline don't mind what all those books tell you just be hard working and think well no sir those people had interactions with beings is that how did solomon become extremely rich and blessed what happened to him god visited him from another realm is that not true they had a conversation listen this conversation is still happening in the earth till today are you following me let me share with you something very briefly i hope you believe me the bible says jesus was giving the parable of the wheat and the tear is that true he said wild man everybody wild man hold on he says while men slept something happened in the earth realm where men were sleeping now the sleeping is not bad we always use that sleep to mean while men were backsliding no he meant literal sleep that means there is something that cannot happen when men are awake are you getting me jesus was telling us something powerful he says the moment men sleep some beings can walk into the earth and he said the enemy quickly comes plants something and goes his way so you wake up with a growth that was not there before you slept and is somebody following me what happened who came and put it there while men slept are you seeing why the bible says the keeper of israel neither nor it says every time men sleep something happens in this earth realm there are certain beings that come into the earth realm that's why people sleep in the night and in their dream realms they have all kinds of encounters with beings and animals and all kinds of things happen from intercourse to eating to every kind of thing and they wake up the next day only for them to fail at work or fail in exams something happened while men slept the psalmist saw this in psalm 91 and he says thou shall not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day right not the noisome pestilence but many believers are dull of understanding dominion dominion is not just a function of i claim it there is spiritual intelligence that can bring you into that position where you walk in dominion are you hearing what i'm saying please are you getting something so this tree of the knowledge of good and evil was never supposed to be consumed by man are you getting me look, look at me 
when you open that book you will find good but you will not know when evil is planted in the good are you getting what i'm saying that's why a pastor can go and read the 12th book of moses or go and read scientology and be looking at it and saying wow so candles or certain things can do something to witches and wizards everybody say forbidden knowledge are you getting that now and then they read certain zodiac books and they look and they say why not i add this knowledge to what i already have are you getting what i'm saying and they will seem to work powerfully that is the forbidden knowledge the tree of the knowledge of good and evil sometimes we celebrate it what do we call it rema is that true and we bring all kinds of things i've heard about men of god and prophets and all kinds of people who do every kind of nonsense in the body of christ all kinds of magic happening everywhere i once heard of a man of god who came for a program and he was preaching and he called somebody he said look at me the person who looked at him became blind at once yes completely blind at once members were clapping people were running to come and drop seed i don't know what they were tapping into but they were running and everybody was happy watch this and then after the guy preached 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 he did everything and then he prayed again and the guy was open and he said for that reason everything that is close in everybody's life you know i, I open it and you see everybody just shouting amen listen let me tell you listen listen will people get results they will get tremendous results are you hearing what i'm saying because the laws that have been operated are valid spiritual laws but this is the point because it was not initiated and sponsored by the spirit of god although it is correct knowledge it is called witchcraft so it's not about what produces result it's about the spirit of god initiating and sustaining that process hallelujah there are many teachings coming to the body of christ men and women of god who went to lock themselves to pray for three days and seven days or whatever and in the midst of this prayer because many people did not exalt the word above prophecy they had visitations but they were not of god however they were not visitations of inhabitants of the earth and they came and committed to them power and gave them all kinds of things and they came out from all of those experiences and you see power you see anointing but it is not initiated and sponsored by the spirit and the sign is number one the glory never goes to god such kinds of people never give god the glory because it is part of the agreement are you following me now it is god's desire that we grow the bible even said knowledge shall increase but you must guard when the table is set before you you are only permitted to eat of the tree of life there is a kind of knowledge that only puffs up have you seen people hold on i want to say a few things that will challenge you have you seen a lot of people please i don't mean this for criticism or anything have you seen a lot of people who got mad as a result of prayer have you have you seen those kinds of things that somebody got to pray and he started praying until they took him to the psychiatry and locked him i remember a lady years ago this lady was praying in tongues seemingly for about almost 48 hours i was there abu secure this girl was just praying 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 she wouldn't listen to anybody i wish i knew what i know now and the thing confuses the body of christ hallelujah everybody say forbidden knowledge men of god if you're in ministry here you have to be very careful that that insatiable lust 
for rema and revelation you must guard carefully and let this that's why walking in the spirit is the secret it gives you life when you walk in the flesh you may learn a lot of principles that although they are powerful it leads men to death so the more revelation a man is getting the more he's dying not to self dying as a result of the absence of light see this is how you know is one character to know that a man is not of god when you compare the rate of revelation versus the rate of transformation when there is so much word conferences happening conventions happening meetings happening rema upon rema bible study all kinds of things yet you do not see that that word is chaff it lacks the life to build people there is error i hope somebody is learning something here god put two trees and all the trees can supply knowledge for one it is the knowledge that brings life there are certain teachings on deliverance that does not bring life is that true there are certain teachings on deliverance that brings people into bondage because people added bible knowledge plus confessions that they got from people who were once witches and wizards is that true and they added everything and they say if you want the devil to run away from you once it's nine o'clock wear red that that one is not in the bible you see that that is that is deception dimension there I, I is somebody following what i'm saying i apologize if maybe these are the tenants of your church or your ministry i really apologize i love the body of christ but i have to teach you the truth so there is the biblical concept of deliverance for instance then there are others who have spent their entire life interviewing seemingly witches and wizards begging for audience with herbalists to explain to them the realm of the spirit knowing that satan is the father of all liars are you getting my point now and it is on the strength of those information they have built their prayer ministries or built a lot of things so when you want to pray for somebody you look and say uh -uh, i can't pray for you like this you are wearing a black shoe change it into a special kind of slippers that you wear when you enter my my this thing for the power to work this one is astrology and witchcraft is somebody getting what i'm saying or you get all kinds of candles with different colors this flame that flame this flame and you say now come and sit in the midst of it and just be calm as i drive this spirit uh -uh. this is called transcendental meditation this is witchcraft hallelujah yet you come and sit down in the midst of that candle something suddenly happens to you and you start taking first in the class all of a sudden your intelligence is heightened you think beyond your level and because you hallelujah hallelujah thank you are you following my story please because you are getting results you will be encouraged are you hearing what i'm saying be careful because many people are eating of the forbidden tree they are eating right now today here and now they are getting access to knowledge that seems to be producing results thank you but that knowledge is not of god maybe some of us right here as you are sitting down are already in these deceptions the moment you read those books although they are blowing your mind but something in your spirit starts checking the holy ghost is telling you uh -uh, when did you get into this when did you get into this and you see these books are in our libraries you can get them online many of you have watched every kind of thing you see a man who has supernatural ability to listen to plants and animals and you sit down there are all kinds of books people
people research online how to hear the language of plants and animals and they put all kinds of codes they say recite it by 12 or 1 many christians you get up carry your big head and stand in front of the mirror and now recite it the last you recite it and just wake up and see that it's morning you slept something happened to you you may not know what happened again anytime god wants to take in and bring out of a man sleep happens and god calls adam to sleep hallelujah are you understanding this we're talking about dominion through through spiritual intelligence the knowledge that leads to death i'm going to share with you very importantly very quickly two laws even if it's just in five minutes wherever we stop that's it for the night two important spiritual laws that can help us i'm committed to making sure that god grants us spiritual intelligence that we have knowledge this is what makes you strong in the spirit prayer is good but it's not just enough to pray you must have knowledge so that when you see things you know what laws are in place and you know what to do about them knowledge takes away ignorance knowledge takes away shock from your life so that you are not surprised about anything when you hear that something has happened you don't just panic you understand hallelujah praise the name of the lord law number one is called the law of territory if you want to walk in dominion you must understand this law the law of territory everybody say the law of territory look up please dominion is territorial dominion is territorial even in the satanic organogram they understand the jurisdiction and the boundaries of territories there are spirits and principalities that do not operate in the earth realm it's not their territory of work are you getting me every time they are on the earth realm they are powerless there are certain demonic operations that are territorial i give you an instance when you go to certain territories in this nigeria you see that there are certain traits and satanic operations given to that territory when you go outside of the territory it doesn't seem to have a hold on you again is that true and you go into another territory maybe it's drunkenness that is there you go to another territory maybe it's lust and immorality the operations of the kingdom and the operations of the spirit are territorial every man every kingdom citizen must know this abraham come out of your father's house come out of this territory where you are into a land that i will show you and if you do get to that land then i will bless you and you will be a blessing i will bless them that bless you and curse him that curses you and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed but that will only happen if you leave one territory to another everybody say dominion is territorial it's a spiritual intelligence that you must understand number two is that you must understand very very clearly that in the place of your assignment that is where you will exercise true dominion everything opens up for you at your assigned territory there is an assigned territory where the spirit of dominion can walk in your life hallelujah this is what a lot of people do not understand please look up you must take out time to hear from god are you getting me as to where he wants you to be at every season not just what you want him to do for you but where your blessings are territorial and isaac sowed in that land 
Genesis 26 from verse 12. And Isaac sowed, not just in any land, although there was famine, God told him, this is your territory of dominion. Sow in that land. A man of God may go to Zamfara and sit down and say, Zamfara is not a lucrative place. Let me run to Abuja for ministry. And he goes outside of territory. Are you getting my point? And you see a man struggling in a land of plenty he's struggling yet you will see another man in the same zamfara blessings coming from people those who are born again and those who are not born again because you are in the place of your territory say the law of territory many of us right now are at the face of our lives where we are trusting to know where God wants us to settle for every season. It can change, but that in every season, there is a territory. You miss your territory, you will never walk in dominion. Because where God has assigned you, he has commanded the ravens to feed you. He has commanded the widow to attend to you. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'll never forget when we finished the crusade in Joss. And the PFN people called me in the particular local government in Joss. And they said, would you come and establish a branch of your ministry? We'll give you an auditorium free and we'll give a few pastors to train. I was happy. I went to God. God said you would die. I told the PFN people, God said I would die. I'm really sorry. I can't go. As simple as that. Many of you would have said, ah, breakthrough. God has buttered my bread and you will go there that's why you can see a ministry flourishing in a, in a particular place and then they move to a place and it's as though god did not call them again favor is a sign that you are in the right place when i sent thee lackest thou anything when i sent thee lackest thou anything By the grace of God at this level of ministry I can tell you I am sure that we are in the place assigned that's why it doesn't matter what venue we use whether it is blue roof whether it is charity and faith whether it's whatever there seems to be grace backing us so many people have called me one lady said them and their family members they are praying that I must come to Abuja they say relocate your level is bigger than Zaria I said I appreciate you but I remember there was a man called Ahitophel in scripture Don't let people advise you out of your destiny they may be genuine they look at you and say kai zaria is it's too much for your level you say it's true just that what will we do and you start thinking and pack your load out of your destiny into a land where there is no assigned space for you you get into the land and there is no divine assignment for you there's no space for you you keep fighting and struggling with everybody Moses said, if your presence will not go with us, let us remain in this territory where we are sure that your presence is with us. This may be the answer to some of the tragedy of many of our parents. They got up because of looking for greener pastures. They just packed their load and said, Lagos, here we come. Ten years now, they are still suffering. every door shuts at your face it's a sign to go back for retreat and say lord speak to me speak to me where am i missing it don't just let jobs and all of these things decide your destiny i know this looks like a, a stupid statement and many people will criticize me for it they'll say are you joking in nigeria where there's no job but you must be careful you exercise dominion in the place of your territory your territory does not just mean the geography alone it means your jurisdiction of operation are you getting me if i go and enter the prophetic ministry right now as an office i'm not a prophet as an office i may operate in prophetic dimensions but god did not call me as a prophet in, in officially like your office your jurisdiction if I now say I'm going to come in and make sure I prophesy for everybody one by one, 
I give you two weeks. Many of you will start praying and fasting for me because you will start having all kinds of dreams of me missing it. You say, oh God, what is happening? This guy is missing this thing. There are many men of God who were called to be teachers or pastors, but they, they got outside of territory. Are you getting what I'm saying now? There are other people who were called into prayer ministries. Their anointing is the anointing for intercession. But they've now begun to teach wealth seminars and teaching all kinds of prosperity conventions. That's not wrong, except that you have come out of territory. Everybody say territory. You will only walk in your dominion if you confine yourself and limit yourself to your territory, your jurisdiction of operation. There are certain dimensions of ministry. If God instructs me to engage in, I will find graces that are called at the heart of that area and bring them. It doesn't matter whether I can preach more than them. It doesn't matter whether I have more miracles than them. Uh -uh. It's about the grace and the dominion. When a man is in his area of territory, you will exercise dominion freely. You see why a lot of pastors are struggling. You go to a church and copy what a man of God is doing. You do not know his, his ministerial packaging. Are you getting my point? So many people who are pastors trying to do the work of apostles, little persecution comes and they are crying. They cannot move forward because see, when God calls a man, he equips you according to the office. When you learn this law, you will walk in dominion. Absolute dominion. There are things I have no business doing. If God gives me an instruction, he will have to give me a special grace for it or direct me to the people who will administer that level of building to the body of Christ. Watch my knee calls it the limitation of the body. People struggle because they do not understand their jurisdiction of operation. Is someone getting blessed tonight? Your assigned territory. God has honored you in the area of catering. When it comes to catering, you walk in dominion there. The next thing you got up and you just heard that people are doing um, building materials and you just get up and go there. You say, I'm supplying building materials. Your first supply, there was trouble. Second supply, 10 years down the line, you are still struggling. Everybody say territory. Thank you, Jesus. The second law. And then we will pray. This one is very important. It is a law that you must believe in and walk in it. It's called the law of exchange. This is a powerful spiritual law if you must walk in dominion. Giving something you love for something you desire is called the law of exchange. The law of exchange. You laid aside your majesty, gave up everything for me suffered at the hands of those you have created you took all my guilt and shame when you died and rose again now today you reign in heaven and now exalted i really want to worship you my lord you are my heart and I am yours Forever and ever I will love you You are the only one who died for me You gave your life to set me free And so I lift my voice to you In adoration Listen, how many of you have heard that a man gave up his ability to give birth to children for money? Have you heard of that? Everybody say the law of exchange. When you understand this law, you will know the reason why evil seems to happen in a place unhindered. When the Bible says an eye for an eye, have you heard that? Tooth for tooth. I've studied it. It's not like when I break your teeth, you will break back my own to revenge. Are you getting me? 
is called compensation that means if i do something to you you must take back something that can appease you to the equivalence of the offense are you getting what i'm saying it's called the law of exchange that's where we get trade by butter i give you a cow you must find something that is commensurate to the worth of that cow are you getting me that's why when man fell based on the justice of god god looked around to see what can be given he said if i give gabriel it's not enough if i give michael it's not enough do you know why because angels themselves are imperfect i hope you know it angels excel in light they excel in strength but they are still imperfect do you want me to show you joe let's look at it one scripture you are the one who said i should show you Turn to the book of Job. Sorry about the time. We'll round up now. He could not give the angels because they are imperfect. <laughs> Oh, it's possible. It's possible. I bring you a word from the Holy Ghost. It's possible. Whatever it is, no matter how impossible it is. Hey, carry on. Hey, mama, na 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 your breakthrough is possible the impossible situation can change has a name it has a need and it will bow let faith rise tonight let faith rise tonight The shout of the king in this house. Do you know the song? Listen, I need you to understand that when you praise God, it's an instrument in the realm of the spirit. When you praise God, he inhabits the praises of his people. Are you listening to me? And tonight we want to touch the heart of God. When you sow, to the realm of the spirit, God will give you a harvest tonight. Worshippers, are you ready to help me with that song? Yes, spirit, have your way. Sir. Hallelujah. There's a shout of a king in this house. Come on, celebrate him, everybody. The power is here. There's a great anointing. A great anointing working. The spirit of God is in this place. The spirit place. of the Lord is here. There's a shout. There's a shout of a king in this house. For his mighty power is here. There's a great anointing. There's a great anointing working. Oh, yeah.
Another shout. Another shout of a king in this house. That's a great anointing. Go ahead and celebrate Jesus. For the spirit of the Lord is here. There's a shout of a king. There's a shout of a king in this house. For his mighty power is here. There's a great anointing. Come on, say. a very big God who, who oh, is Lord. always by my side. Hold a on. Listen. God. We are going to celebrate God and celebrate His miracle. So find a dancing partner because I need us to let the devil know huh. that Jesus is Lord. Two. Instrumentalist, are you ready? Yeah. I have a very big God who, who is always by my side. A mighty God who, by my side. By my side. I have a very big God. Oh, a very big God. I have a very big God. You are always by my side. I have a very big God. You are always by my side. Yeah. A mighty God. Oh, Come on, I'm going to flow. Let me see you dance. I have a very big God. Oh, we are always by my side.
growing up, I had the opportunity to watch one film. The name of the film is Shout at the Devil. Come on. from migraine listen we are going to shout this shout again you thought you were just being excited these are patterns in the realm of the spirit it's not an empty and a foolish shout hallelujah Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When an atmosphere where His presence is mighty, great, ah, <laughs> makaposo you are beautiful beyond description you're too marvelous for words you're too wonderful for comprehension like nothing ever seen or heard Ever see? Come on, inside and outside, let's worship Him. Who can grasp your infinite wisdom? Who can fathom the depths of your love? You are beautiful beyond the scripture. Majesty and thrown on high inside and outside. Can you lift your hands as we stand in awe of the mighty God? I stand in awe of you, Lord. I stand, Lord. I stand in awe of you, Holy God. One more time, let's join the saints and the angels. I stand in love. I stand in all of you. I stand in love. Holy God.
Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 4. Such a mighty presence of the Holy Ghost in this place. There will be a rain of miracles, signs, wonders, deliverances, emancipation, a release. Matthew chapter 4, verse 23. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. 24. And his fame went throughout all Syria and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments and those who were possessed with demons and those who were epileptics and those who had palsy and he healed them and he healed them chapter 8 chapter 8 verse 16 And the evening was come, when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with demons. And he cast out the spirits with his word, and healed all that they were sick. 17. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, He himself took our infirmity and bore our sickness. Chapter 9. Verse 35. And Jesus went about all cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Hallelujah. Please be seated for. Just five minutes. Hallelujah. My heart is touched by the hunger and the expectation. I understand that several people came here trusting God for diverse kinds of miracles others miracles in their bodies miracles in their finances miracles in their spiritual life but I needed to understand that no matter how impossible the situation looks the power of God is present are you listening I have good news for you you don't have to go back the way you came because Jesus is in this place. Oh, and he's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's the Alpha and Omega. The first and last is he. The cross of sin is broken. We have perfect liberty For the Lamb of God is with us alive He's alive He's alive He's the Alpha and Omega the first and the last The first and last is He the cause of sin is broken. We have perfect liberty. For the Lamb of God is risen. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Hallelujah. Jesus is alive. He went 
about doing good. Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and he said he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him the word of God says for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may liquidate annihilate destroy the works of the wicked one Satan is a very wicked person I needed to know that from the garden of Eden sickness poverty failure retardation these things were not part of the packages of God until you are convinced that God is not the author of these things your heart will not be open to receive are you listening to me so point number one is to believe that the enemy had done this the Bible says God is love say after me God is love and say after me God is good a lot of people have been convinced that God is the author of sickness God is the author of failure and we've given Satan an opportunity to destroy our lives we keep justifying the things that Satan brings to our lives but tonight I needed to know that Jesus came to destroy all that Satan had done in our lives hallelujah Jesus is not the author of sickness I don't care what kind of sickness it is Jesus is not the author of failure he's not the author of poverty he's not happy when a man and his wife are fighting at home because of lack of money he's not the author of all of these kinds of things that we suffer in our society hallelujah number two I needed to understand that Satan has been defeated say after me Satan has been defeated a lot of believers treat Satan as though he is yet to be defeated and so we try to defeat him no sir when Jesus hung upon that cross he said it is finished the Bible makes us to understand that he made a public show Satan and his cohorts triumphing over them in judgment so Satan has been defeated over your life over your health over your finances Satan has been defeated it's important that you are convinced that Satan has been defeated hallelujah Satan will not be defeated Satan has been totally and completely defeated hallelujah number three the victory has been given unto you oh you need to know this a lot of people know that Christ has the victory but very few understand that he has given this victory to the church say after me I have the victory say after me I have the victory one more time say I have the victory the next point faith is the victory faith faith is the victory the Bible says and this is the victory that overcome the world even our faith even our capacity to believe the report of the Lord he said who has believed our report and to whom has the arm of the Lord been made known you've got to believe God's report whose report have you been believing medical doctors let me tell you something there is no sickness represented on the earth that does not have a testimony of someone who has been healed from it including death there is no sickness and the word of God tells me that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday the same today the same forever cancer has been healed blindness has been healed deafness has been healed 
demonic oppression people have been set free your case is not new Solomon said there is nothing that is new under the sun hear me the word of the Lord has been tried through all of this and been found faithful that's why we believe his word oh Lord I believe your report so tonight will you for one minute lay aside the report of doctors thank God for the medical people they are doing their best and we appreciate them but tonight will you squeeze away every testimony that contradicts the integrity of God's word that's why you came I'm stirring up faith in you because God is going to be doing great and mighty things hallelujah when you comprehend the might and the majesty of God you will know that there is no situation that is too great for him when Isaiah saw him the Bible says in the year that King Uzziah died I Isaiah saw the Lord and he saw him high and lofty mighty great he didn't look like he could be intimidated by any situation God is not intimidated by any situation and so let faith rise in your spirit it doesn't matter what area of your life you've been suffering it's not called a healing service it's called a miracle service so whether healing miracles whether financial miracles let me tell you something you must make up your mind that the struggle in your life will end are you listening to me the bible says woe to them who are at ease in zion until you get annoyed and dissatisfied with your present situation you will never move forward hallelujah when a baby is nine months old in the womb of the mother the baby begins to express severe dissatisfaction a call for a change of environment hallelujah and you must get dissatisfied i need for your heart to be opened to say lord i'm not going back the way i came many of us have come with all kinds of challenges prayer requests many of us have come from far and near you cannot afford to go back the same are you listening to me there are many families that are represented here being buffeted by satan but i need you to know that jesus is alive and let the oppression end tonight i don't care what the sickness is hiv cancer tumor whatever it is it will melt in the light of his glorious presence satan has had a field day molesting people including believers and that's why god led us to put a miracle service a special notable miracle service where god will set you on a course and a plane where god will there are many of us that certain doors are just closed it works for everybody until it gets to your turn why will you not move forward in your life am i provoking someone you must see the need for a miracle you may not be sick but is this the best of your life hallelujah it's time for the lord to upgrade our lives the bible says gentiles will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising there is a beauty and glory that god wants to leave as a deposit of his presence so that the world will know that jesus reigns hallelujah he's a merciful god there are many of us here that what the lord will be doing your miracle is to be separated from your past a total separation like the red sea separated the israelites from the egyptians god is going to be burying some things about your life that has stopped you from moving forward there are many of us that god will be laying to rest certain habits and things strongholds that impede
speed our movement the bible says seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses it says let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and i'm happy because many of us will find rest from sin tonight yes there are many of you who have come you have struggled in this life being a servant unto sin and unto satan but john chapter 3 verse 16 says for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have the way eternal life a quality of life that is superior to sin and satan and sickness and death hallelujah there are many of us that have been victims of tragedies in our families again and again by the way if you did not bring your prayer request now is the time you can please collect a, a paper a pen and a paper for those of you who received it as text messages as you're listening to the message just have it because we're going to be praying and let me tell you something no devil will stop your prayer from being answered tonight i'm preparing your heart for what the lord will do while i was preparing for this meeting i spoke to the lord and i said lord my life must show forth a greater dimension of your glory and i prayed i said lord i'll be the first partaker of this miracle and someone sent me a text and reminded me of this scripture that said the husband man shall be the first partaker hallelujah the first partaker and so i welcome you tonight to a feast of miracles a feast of the manifestation of the spirit in your life many of you will leave this place stepping into unusual realms of visions unusual realms of power unusual realms of grace supernatural you will be so full of the holy ghost that when you step out of this place your world will know there is something about your life and so holy spirit we thank you holy spirit thou art welcome in this place holy spirit thou art welcome in this place omnipotent father of mercy and grace thou art welcome in this place one more time holy spirit thou art welcome holy spirit thou art welcome in this place Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, thou art welcome in this place. So I like for your faith to rise take away the walls and all the things that look like limitations are you listening to me i like you to say god is able and he will give me a new name the bible says he will give you a new name say after me god is able and he will give me a new name so let faith rise in your spirit as the power of God moves healing setting men free stepping men into levels of glory and wisdom and blessings and favor make sure that you are a part taker press like the woman with the issue of blood and say if I may but touch the helm of his garment that woman did not consider her reputation are you listening to me many of you will need to lay aside your reputation and press and say lord if it takes me rolling on the floor i will press 
some things about my life will change hallelujah many of you will need to hold on to him like Jacob and say Lord I will not let you go you've got to drop a deposit of your presence upon my life and upon my destiny and let the nations know that my God is alive and I prayed for every one of you and I said Lord for as many who will come and hear me all of you inside and outside I needed to know that his presence is here his presence his glorious manifest presence is here the last scripture and then we'll begin to pray Luke chapter 4 oh I sense such an unusual presence of the Holy Ghost the Lord told me there will be an unusual activity of angels unusual angelic activities Luke chapter 4 verse 16 Luke 4 16 and he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up and as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read verse 17 and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah and when he had opened the book he found a place where it was written the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he had sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised to preach the acceptable year of the Lord and he closed the book and gave it again to the minister and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him and he began to say unto them this day when 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 today say this day I'd like you to prophesy over your life this day this scripture will be fulfilled in my life say after me this day tonight tonight not tomorrow tonight this scripture will be fulfilled in my ears rise up on your feet let your spirit be open Kabo Sataya the power of God is strong mighty in this place go ahead and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost set the atmosphere as you pray in the Holy Ghost everywhere inside and in the overflow go ahead and begin to pray unto the one who is able unto the mighty God the lion of the tribe of Judah Go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Say, Lord, I know you are able. My heart is open. I came for business tonight. I came for business tonight. I came for business tonight. I came to receive a miracle. Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, we hail you, most high. You're the Lion and the Lamb, Lion of Judah, hail His Majesty, the Lamb upon the His Majesty. Throne. We hail you, we 
Someone you you came here, you've been having pain on the right side, just the right side of your hand. I'd like you to come out quickly. Pain on the right side of your hand. Inside, outside, please be attentive. Pain at the right side. The Lord is going to heal you. Palika prash tabariandaka. Make baria de baladamas. Eka baria damali ekata. Pain at the right side, the right side of your hand. Abariana na mas eka prage ni baladaba. Harokoto bariana na na mas eka riana na 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 na. I heal you. The Lord heals you in the name of Jesus. Be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Kota bariya ketaya. Be healed in the name of the Lord Jesus. Go back and check yourself. Make sure you check yourself. Be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Be healed now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let that pain go. Go, go, go. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, be healed. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, go back and check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Swing your hands. Do what you couldn't do. Be healed now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, be healed. By the power of the Holy Ghost, be healed. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of the Lord Jesus, be healed. By the power of the Holy Ghost, test yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. I worship. Hallelujah. If you are suffering from ulcer, ulcer, every kind of peptic ulcer, peptic ulcer. I like you to run out here quickly. Ulcer confirmed, medically confirmed ulcer. Hurry up and run out here. The power of God, where you are standing, there is such grace and power. Peptic ulcer, inside and outside. You came for a miracle. Many of you, as you stand here, the power of God, the power of God will begin to touch you even before we pray for you. There's a glorious atmosphere. There is a stirring of the waters. Peptic ulcer.
before. I like you to shout, I am healed. Now check yourself. Breathe in and breathe out. Check yourself. Many of you will find out that you just received a miracle. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Celebrate it. There are miracles all around. Supernatural miracles. Check it. Check yourself. Hey, Sotoya. Check yourself. Check yourself. Members of the media, just locate the members of the media and register your testimony. Check yourself. Breathe in and out. No devil will stop you. Hallelujah. Every kind of growth, I don't care what it is. Hear me. Every kind of growth, cancer, fibroid, I'm not going to ask you to come out, but I want to pray for you. Right where you are, hear me. There is such an unction in this place for the miraculous. Are you listening to me? There is the gift of faith and the working of miracles. Pakato pasidaka. Reketeba. Manto sotaba. Rekete debosa. Maka brekete bata. Rekete tebakasa. Also, every kind of cancer. Die now. In the name of Jesus. Cancer. Die now. In the name of Jesus. Fibroid. Be gone. Fibroid, be gone. Fibroid, be gone. Fibroid, be gone. Lumps, go in the name of Jesus. Lumps, be healed. Be healed. I command you to dissolve right now. Every growth, every swelling in any part of your body, I command. I decree let it dissolve right now in the name of Jesus. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. I like you to check yourself. Check the lump. Check the cancer. Check whatever it is. Do it right now. Do it right now. And celebrate the miracle you are receiving. Do it right now. Thank you, Jesus. Saka pariyakata. Parando sopregete. Sokete balai. Hear me. There are many of you that have been oppressed by Satan. Whether in your dream. There are not all of you. Are you listening to me? But there are a few people you may not even know. The power of God will fall on you. Inside, outside. Hear me, get set. As the power of God falls on them. Let me have them right here. Hallelujah. So take a bariata. In the name of Jesus. Every devil. Everyone, I like you to lift your hands. So take a bariata. Let the fire fall on you right now. Inside, outside, inside, outside. Be free. Every satanic manipulation. Ushers locate them inside, outside. Inside and outside. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Zokoto Pereketa. Rote Shaya. Manto Priyakata. Every demonic oppression. Go, 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 go. Inside, outside, be free right now. Soto Pariaka. Barekete. Rekotosia. Rekerete by. Rondo Sotoba. Rekete Bakata. Roko Shataya. Inside and outside. Inside and outside. Boreke Shaba. Barekete Bakata. Inside and outside. Inside and outside. Every devil, every demon. Let them go. 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 No devil can hold you. No devil can hold you. No devil can 
hold you. Every demon, every devil, every demon, you will not stand this way. Inside, outside, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost. There are still two people left, one outside and one inside. Right now, every devil that doesn't want to let you go, I command, be free. One outside, one inside, one outside, one inside. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, be set free, be loose, be loose. One outside, one inside, be loose in the name of the Lord Jesus. Shakata baba baba, harekete bakata bala. You came to be free. Hallelujah. Have the ushers located them? One outside and one inside. One outside, one inside. Acute levels of demonic oppression. All of you at the overflow, I want you to lift your hands. All of you outside, just lift your hands. Holy Ghost, draw that one person. You will not escape. No devil will cover it. In the name of Jesus, the fire of God upon that one person now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm waiting for the person outside. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Shanda bako pariye kata. Re kata baliye kata bariya. Hallelujah. Listen. Bible says for this purpose was the son of man made manifest that he may destroy the works of him. Hallelujah. Satan is not as powerful as he has been magnified to be. And brothers and sisters, it doesn't matter whatever challenge. I'm going to speak to all of you in front right now. And the fire of God will sweep across you from my right down to my left the fire will literally burn you holy spirit now let it move across my right down to my left every fire burn off that chaff ketoso preke rakata banake rento so preke de 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 rekete le bosa bata bosa let her go let her go be free now from every demonic oppression be free now from every demonic oppression. Every demon, go, leave her. Every demon, come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Break it by her. You are free. I call you free by the power of the Holy Ghost. This lady is under acute oppression. Let that devil leave you, gentleman. Right.
right now. I command every creep of Satan. You are a spirit. I've seen you in the realm of the spirit. Let him go now. Let him go. Look at what is happening to him. Look at look at what is happening to him. Watch the spirit manifest through him. Watch the spirit manifest through him. Watch the spirit manifest through him. Leave him. Let him go. Let him go. Now let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Every devil. Let her go. By the power of the Holy Ghost. You are free. You are free. You are free. Hold on. No, we to go. <laughs> Hear the spirit talking back. <laughs> now, devil, go. Go. By the power of the Holy Ghost. You have been defeated. You have been defeated. Oh, celebrate Jesus. Your oppression comes to an end. The Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. It said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Every demonic stronghold. Now, be free. 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 You are free by the power of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Satan, you are a spirit. I've seen you in the realm of the spirit. Let this man go. You have been suffering, you don't even know it. But you have done things that are not godly. And giving Satan access to your life. But tonight, light shines in the darkness. Light shines. Koparika. Light shines. Come. No, let her just step down. Let me tell you something. You love God, but there are windows that are open. I see different accesses, but the power of God will come upon you in a strong way. And every devil working against your destiny will give way. Are you listening to me? But hear me. You've opened up yourself for many things. You have opened up yourself for many things. You've got to culture the things that you receive and the revelations that you embrace. Hallelujah. Hold my hands. Just hold my hands. Parakete bakaradai. Regete oso. Reboto pariakata. Leave her alone. Don't touch her. Don't touch her. Koroto so bakata. Regete re 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 re. Be free. Be free. Soto rokosia. Regete te baria. Raboto sope. Regete. Regete na bosh. Makora sata. Parata bariakete. Regete te te bakai. Paradobo Sobresta Anta Barriacata Hallelujah. Who is John? John, you are a gentleman. Your name is John. John, do we have any John here inside and outside? John, come up quickly. John I'm hearing John in my spirit hurry up why are you standing outside John where's your mother who was hallelujah where's your mother what is what does she do she sells provision and all that she sells provision. Is she fine? Is all going well with her business? No. What is wrong? It's going down. It's going down. Yeah. You know why? No. Is she a Christian? Yeah. 
she's serious with God. She's not wow. serious with God. She has put her hands in ungodly things. And the devil is perfecting her seriously. And the plan is to affect you too. Do you know me? No. Hallelujah. Have I discussed this with you? No. God has brought you here to set you free. Amen. Are you going to stand for your mother? There's nothing that is in the darkness. That the Lord is Hold my hands. He's going to minister to you. He'll pray for you. Whatever he sees, he'll minister and pray for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, before we continue, I sense an interruption in the realm of the spirit. Someone or two people, the spirit of prophecy will come upon you. Ushers, take note. When that happens, two of them, you will be under the power of God and you come out. There is a word that the Lord wants to speak to the people right now. Are you listening to me? Are you ready? Spirit of God, as you have shown me. Now, let there be that manifestation. Now, 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 Please bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. The spirit of prophecy. One more person. That's all. We have two of them already. Spirit of prophecy. Hallelujah. You're going to bring words from the throne. Amazing words from the spirit. Oh my God. Listen. The power of God is ready to break loose. I can't even stop it. Now. I can't stop it. Everywhere. 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 Now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Now. I can't even stop it. I can't stop it. God shot to by the breaking of the spirit now inside outside in the overflow now now outside receive it outside receive it outside ushers help them ushers help them ushers help them my god my god my god Inside and outside. Bring them outside. Bring them out. All of you lift your hands inside and outside. I like you to shout Jesus. Shout Jesus. Shout Jesus. Shout Jesus! Shout Jesus! Oh, he's still falling. He's still falling. At the back. At the back. At the back. Those of you at the back. At the back. At the back. Now. At the back. Go and get the barracos. Go and get the barracos. Go and get the barracos. At the back. At the back. I see an angel at the back. 
Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen to me. Now it's time for the two people. You have a word from the Lord. This lady is one of them. Bring her, Janfa. Bring her. Just bring her. Hold her. Come. Speak Speak from the throne room. Now all of you listen to what the Lord is saying. Listen to what the Lord is saying. Just listen to what the Lord is saying. The Lord is doing a new thing. The Lord is doing a new thing. She's manifesting what we call the gift of diverse kinds of talk. It's a message from the Lord. The Lord is saying, I do a new thing. I do a new thing. I do a new thing. That's what the Lord is communicating to you. And I will cross your eyes to see the new thing that I do. I do a new thing. Put the mic. Even by the Spirit. Speak the counsel of the Spirit. Confirm the exact same one that is doing a new thing. Hallelujah. What's happening? Rain. All of you outside, come. Even if it's to stand, come in. If you can sit at the altar, just come in and find somewhere and sit. Hallelujah. 
Praise God. Just find, stand at the eye, come in front here. You can sit across. This is not some church thing. Come, draw them. You can sit, sit around. There's no reason why you should be standing outside. If there's no rain, fine. But if there's rain, come, stand, sit. Find anywhere on the floor, just come and sit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, please. Listen. Those who are experiencing any deafness, if there's any deaf person here, partial deafness or total deafness, lay your hands on your ears. If you brought anyone deaf, instruct the person to lay his or her hands. Go ahead and do that quickly. Listen, not, not everybody can get to go to the back. Some can just organize them around. Please. Some can stand here. You can sit. Just find somewhere. If you yeah, These steps can be seats. Feel free. Don't feel embarrassed. Just find somewhere and sit around. Sit anywhere. Right here, you can sit close to me. It's good to be organized, but when occasion demands for it, let the people come in. Let some sit. Feel free, sweetheart. Sit down. Right? That's right. Find somewhere and sit. You want to come and sit on the stage? You are free. You are permitted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Right now, what I see in the realm of the Spirit is the reign of the baptism in the Holy Ghost. Baptism in the Holy Ghost. Baptism in the Holy Ghost. With evidence of speaking in tongues. Everybody, please lift your hands. If you are here and you are not filled with the Holy Ghost, for many of you, God will give you new utterance. New utterance. The moment I shout receive, you're not filled with the Holy Ghost. Go ahead, release yourself. The power of God will come upon you and you begin to pray in tongues. The moment I shout receive, for the next five minutes, I want everybody in and outside this auditorium to begin to pray in tongues. For many of you, God will give you new tongues. Are you ready now? Are you ready now? Are you ready now? Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive it now. Receive it now. Baptism. In the Holy Ghost. Go ahead and begin to pray in tongues. Even if you've never prayed. Receive it. Baptism in the Holy Ghost. Receive it. Baptism in the Holy Ghost. Baptism in the Holy Ghost. From my left to my right to the center, inside, outside. Baptism. With evidence of praying in tongues. New tongues. Glorious tongues. Glorious tongues. Worshippers, hold yourself. Just hold your hands. All the worshippers come on stage. All the worshippers come on stage. All the worshippers. Every one of you, come in and hold yourself. All the worshippers. Come and hold yourself. Hold yourself. Hold yourself. Hold yourself. Get ready now. Fire on you. Right now. From you. Let it flow to every one of you. Flow now to every one of you. Flow now to every one of you. In the name of Jesus. 
Receive it now. 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 miracles in mass I want to give Jamfa opportunity there are few of you that God will have specific words for and when it's done my brother HME will come and give a few words and then we're going to pray don't miss out on any part of this hallelujah I see certain people I saw like incense come over certain people and the Lord told me that these are demons that come to torment the minds of people the minds of people, I see certain people that are under that stronghold of demonic influence. And God says he wants to touch them now, wherever they are. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we declare that let such stronghold over the minds of people be broken. We declare healing right now. We declare that the mind of people be released. We declare that that demons that keep people's mind bound, that help people bondage, be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, I see somebody who came into this meeting. You came with an intense pain around your neck. This side I'm touching, wherever you are, just come quickly, 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 quickly. This part of your neck, you came in with intense pain. You came in with intense pain. This part of your neck, where are you? Where are you? Just in a minute, Lord. I declare, wherever that person is right now. I command healing, I command that pain. Go right now, declare your neck to be healed. I declare your neck to be healed in the name of Jesus. Where is BC? Where is BC? BC? Where is BC? Just quickly, please. Where is BC? The Lord says, As they come, ushers, follow them, please. The Lord Let says, the ushers follow them so they don't have to. This angel of war is arising for your family tonight. God says, go tell your sister that that affliction over her home is broken. God says, go tell her that the enemy that stole her children, the Lord brings deliverance tonight. In the name of Jesus. Go tell her that the Lord is bringing breakthrough. That affliction is broken. That spirit is broken. Freedom comes to her and your household. In the name of Jesus. My brother, Yagnan, the Lord wants me to minister to you. I don't know, where is your mom right now? She's in just, I saw in the spirit, I saw certain attacks, certain scorching tongues of men that are risen up against her. In the place where she walks and God says, there have been an intense warfare over her life and even concerning her health. Am I right? Even concerning her health, I've seen warfare over her life. 
God says right now, he's stretching forth his hand to bring deliverance to her. God says he's silent the tongues of men. He's silent the tongues of men that have risen against her. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I say a black car just drive into your house. I say a black car just drive into your house. I don't know if your family just got a black car now, but I see a black car just... I see a black car just driving to your house and the Lord says he's bringing that to your family in the name of Jesus I see the Lord extend a letter to you God says he's opening the door for you God says you shall be called for a door is open for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Lord I thank you thank you because there's an open door and a letter is coming for him and it shall be for good I see a letter being put in your hand I see them calling you in the name of Jesus. Please, where, where is that? The Lord wants me to speak. Where is this woman, this barrister? God says, I should tell your family. God says, even as you leave, as you leave Zaria, He said, I say, I put it in your heart to do. God says, you will find yourself. God says, you will find yourself established in a young growing ministry. And God said his hand is going to come upon your lives in a new way like you have never seen. I won't see your wife. God says the spirit of God will come upon her. And she'll begin to stir up women to pray. And God says by that he will bring deliverance to many homes. God says by that he will bring deliverance to many in the neighborhood. For God says doors of opportunity are open. Even in business, God says walk into these doors. God says walk into these doors. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise. Is there anybody in this place? If you came here with HIV, don't be ashamed, just come. If you came here with HIV, God says He wants to heal that, just come. If you came here with HIV, God wants to give you a miracle. Father, we thank you. Because God says He wants to heal that. Or for whoever you're standing for that has that, we declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We declare deliverance right now. We declare supernatural healings right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where's the Jimmy? Where's the Jimmy? Where's Jimmy? Hello, bring the lady. Just bring her. Just leave her. Leave her. Shalom. Peace. Alright, listen, please. The few people here throughout this service you've been feeling listen. a literal cloak, like a skin you literally from the crown of your head especially around your shoulders literally literally i hear god say a new spirit and a new man a new spirit and a new man those people lift up your hands you will feel a weight of god's glory from the crown of your head down to the sole of your feet god says it is for a separation unto intimacy a separation unto intimacy Secondly, God says, it is a mantle of an anointing, a place of intercession and prayer. And the last thing I hear God say, God is separating you, an exodus, an exodus. I see those people, one of them is a tall man, a young man, you are very tall, you are very tall. I hear God say, prepare for war, prepare for war, prepare for war, prepare for war. He will teach your hands to war. Prepare for war. Let that gentleman raise up his hands. 
and let God confirm his word with signs and with waters. There are certain ladies here, the mistakes of the past. Sexual immorality has cost you many things. For some of you is the loss of your wombs. For some of you is venereal diseases. God says he has seen the cry of your heart and he's given you a new womb. Divine replacement, divine replacement. He says he has forgiven you and he's restoring divine replacement. And upon some of you, I am seeing that the same mantle for an apostolic move is coming upon you. But God says you will move by the four winds of his spirit. The four winds of his spirit. The four winds of his spirit. He says that you will not find counsel in everyday things, but you will find counsel in the place of prayer. He says that the blood will speak for you and fire will mount to you. He says he will create a new world by his words. A new world by his words. Lord, confirm your word with signs and with wonders. And there are two men in this place. There are two men in this place. Two men in this place. Elderly men. And this has been your prayer for since the beginning of this year. You said, Lord, I've made a mistake with my life and my destiny. But please, don't let that mistake affect my children. You have children. Elderly men. Elderly men. You have regrets. Your life is full of regrets. God says, I should tell you, groom your children in the fear of the Lord. And the things you were supposed to do, even greater they will do. If those people are here, please come. The elderly man. You have children. An elderly man. An elderly man. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Very quickly. Listen. By the Spirit, this is going to be the last phase of the release of miracles. I'm going to be releasing prophetically. Hear me. The moment I mention your case, the power of God is reaching you to set you free. And even if I don't mention your case and I speak, under the unction of the Holy Spirit, you will be made whole. Well, now is the time. If you brought anybody who, who is sick, now is the time to lay your hands on them. Are you listening? If you came with any sick person, I'm going to be praying for a release in your mind. Those of you who are students, God will shock you. See, God will do something in you tonight that will surprise you. Hallelujah. I hear my spirit sexually transmitted diseases. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. The mistakes, the consequences of the past will not follow you. I set you free in the name of Jesus. Peptic ulcer, migraine, be healed in the name of Jesus. Blindness, complete or partial, be healed in the name of Jesus. Every kind of psychosomatism, anybody here with any mental condition, now, Kosata Bariakata, Lekerebo Shotobakata, be healed in the name of Jesus. Let every devil of insanity leave you now. Every devil of insanity, go, 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 go Amen. by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every blood disease, SS, HIV, every blood disease, if your if your genotype is SS in this place, we change it now in the name of Jesus. Anyone who is a sickler here, any sickler, I don't care what the doctors have told you, any sickler, be free forever in the name of Jesus. Every hand of death over your life, many of you have had dreams, death, death, every hand of death over your life right now. 
by the unction of the spirit for you and your families be free in the name of Jesus every curse of poverty over your life over your family enough is enough and tonight I decree be free in the name of Jesus 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 where's the lady I called out come look at me the Lord says I will show you mercy that's what the Lord says I should tell you that I will show you mercy are you listening to me I don't know what this means to you but the Lord says I should tell you I will show you mercy and tonight you find mercy the mercy of the Lord upon your life I hear my spirit remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for the Lord does a new thing in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus if you're a student lift up your hands enough is enough listen don't drop it what is going to happen now if you are a student I don't care listen hear me I don't care what your CGPA is under the unction of the spirit listen if I be a servant of God in the name of Jesus I command from glory to glory receive it receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus hear me listen listen hallelujah now hear me there are some of you it's like over half of you will feel like something rests on your head it's a baptism of intelligence receive it now receive it now receive it now Baroko Tosoto receive it now receive it a baptism baptism of intelligence receive it enough is enough enough is enough satire enough is enough over your tears in your academics hallelujah and for all of you who have been unjustly treated in your department you are suffering as a result of the wickedness of people hear me right now under this unction be free in the name of Jesus I don't care how long your paper has been missing I command it to be found now in the name of Jesus there are some of you who are supposed to graduate but humanly speaking you know there's no way except God brings a miracle thank God you are in a miracle service shake faculties oh God shake departments change policies I release you we graduate to here in the name of Jesus hallelujah from the text I sent to some of you right now you're going to receive a baptism of wisdom the Bible says many of you have made foolish decisions and hear me friends without wisdom you cannot move forward in life are you ready for the wisdom of God 
you're going to shout i receive and when you say i receive for some of you you feel fire passing through your spine i don't know why god is saying spine shout i receive Shout, I receive. Shout, I receive. Baptism of wisdom. Baptism of wisdom. Baptism of wisdom. Wisdom beyond your age. Supernatural wisdom. From the throne. From above. Wisdom that will make you the head and not the tail. Wisdom that will set you above. Wisdom. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you came here with your prayer requests? Prayer requests. Ushers. Okay. Please, let's have all the prayer requests here. If you've not written your prayer request, please do it quickly. We want to agree. I don't care what it is. If it finds its way to God's altar, you'll be free from it. For yourself, for your loved ones, do this quickly. Please, let's do it quickly. Hallelujah. While that is going on, hear me. If there are children in this place from age 10 below bring all of them to the front they are going to receive an impartation right now if there are any children in this place from age like 10 below bring all of them right here where are the prayer requests please please make sure you stand in for your loved ones all the children this way from age 10 below ushers guide the children don't miss out on this golden opportunity your prayer request before the lord of sabaoth Tony, let's have all the prayer requests. Oh, I Lord. Please, ushers, make it fast, make it snappy. Let's have all the children. These children will be anointed by the power of the Holy Ghost. And they will do great and mighty things. The children will never give any parent here trouble. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Let him alone be glorified. Let's have all the prayer requests. Sing Lord, I pray. 
We are waiting for you. It's not too late. You can quickly write and bring it. Quickly, quickly, let's have the requests. Ushers, is this all? Media department, the prayer requests from the internet. I hope we have them here. The ones on Facebook and Twitter. us to be very fast about this now hear me all of these requests represent for some of us impossible situations and as the servants of God we are going to pray and speak over this request and hear me while this is happening I'd like you to be receiving in your spirit for yourself and for your loved ones I'd like to invite Every minister of the gospel here, please, I'd like you to come on stage. Every minister of the gospel, let's do it quickly, quickly. We're a servant of God in this place. Hallelujah. Now, we're going to go down our knees and pray on this request. And as we do that, I'd like the worshippers to continue. I'd like you to receive whatever request it is that found its way to this place under the unction of God I don't care what it is by the spirit I want to tell you that situation is over hallelujah servants of God let's go ahead and go down sing Lord I receive Pastor Williams to just round up this prayer. Can we hold our hands together, servants of God? Jesus. Shabako. Jesus. 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 
Jesus. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus. It's done. 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 Alléluia. Alléluia. God bless you. Now, listen to me. Hear me. The greatest miracle in this place tonight is not the bodily healings or the spiritual things that God is doing. There are many of us today that will begin a new and a fresh journey with the Lord. Hallelujah. There are many of us that have been running away. God has been calling you to be born again. Calling you to the experience of a new life. But there are many of us that have let Satan have his way over our lives. i like to tell you that tonight there is hope. Hallelujah. And the Lord is calling you. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you have done. The greatest miracle to happen in this place is the miracle of salvation and hear me if you've never been born again you've never given your life to God quit running away from him all of these miracles are a sign to prove to you that he is love and that you you can trust him with your life hallelujah you've never given your heart to the Lord or you've given your heart to the Lord and you've derailed. The moment I count three, all over this building, I'd like you to leave your seat and run out here. We are a family. Now is not the time to think about it. Hallelujah. One, two, three. Leave your seat quickly. Leave your seat and run out. Run, don't walk. Run out and come and make Jesus Lord of your life. All of you, from inside, outside, leave your seat. Jesus is calling you. Leave your seat. Jesus welcomes you. Keep clapping and appreciate them. It's over. It's over. It's over. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Keep clapping. They are coming. We will wait for you. Run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, appreciate them. Run to Jesus. Don't stay back. The Lord is calling you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If there are still a few people who are waiting for you, as the Holy Ghost tells you, come out, leave your seat and come. Hallelujah. Leave your seat and come. You are welcome. It doesn't matter what you have done. The Lord is willing to forgive you. And this miracle service was put for you. That there be a translation from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of God's gift. Hallelujah. Now look at me. Those of you standing here, listen to me. I need you to understand that no one condemns you. Are you listening to me? The ministry of condemnation does not come from the Lord. It doesn't matter what you have done. Are you listening to me? It doesn't matter what you have done. Tonight can be a fresh night for you. And with love we receive you to this great family of faith. It's my honor to lead you to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This is the greatest miracle. This is why all of this was put for you. Beyond the healings, we celebrate your salvation. All of you who are standing, in one minute, I'd like you to talk to Jesus by yourself. Go ahead and talk to Jesus. Say, Jesus, I'm sorry. And I now mean business with you. Make sure you talk to him. He loves you. Don't let anyone condemn you. 
Talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at me. Now, I'd like to pray with you. Say after me, dear Lord Jesus, as loud as you can, you're not reciting this. You're confessing it with faith in your heart. Say after me, dear Lord Jesus, I accept that I'm a sinner, unable to help myself, but I believe that you died for me. You shed your blood for me and you rose again for me and today I accept your love I accept your sacrifice I declare that I'm born again I receive eternal life into my spirit I denounce sin I denounce Satan I declare according to God's word that I am heaven bound I'm a new creation heaven is rejoicing over my salvation no more going back in the name of Jesus let's appreciate them the greatest the greatest decision the greatest decision hallelujah now, I want to congratulate every one of you. Some of you are crying. I need you to know that God loves you. And this is the beginning of a brand new day. Hallelujah. Now, in one minute, I'd just like you to follow the ushers. They'll have your details and will make arrangements to follow you up adequately. Just move towards this direction. Appreciate them. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, for the sake of time, we'll take only three testimonies. Three testimonies of what God has done in this place. I know there are many, but let's take, okay, come quickly. Who else? Three testimonies, very quickly in this place. Hallelujah. Come, and then let's have two more, and we'll take the testimonies. One, the last person, very quickly. Very quickly. Okay, hallelujah. All right, please be seated for a while. We'll soon be out of here. Hallelujah. All right, please. I want to thank God. Please listen, listen. I want to thank God for myself and my friend. She actually left with those people that just left now. When we are about to come for this, I will, I, she told me that a friend invited her. So I was like, you of all people <laughs> inviting me to church. She was like, let's just go. Because if I tell her, let's go to church, like, I should not disturb her. She doesn't want to go. So she was like, let's just go. So we came here. She was like, she's not even feeling herself. Because she used to have this migraine. She fell from the bridge some time ago. So she used to have this terrible migraine, mental disorder. She, has, she can't remember anything at all. So she just came out here right now. She's telling me that she's feeling, she's feeling like a new person right now. And I'm so happy that we came here to the glory of God. Is so I wonder where I'd rather be than be right here with him. He's so merciful in our life. And I want to thank God. God is faithful. Thank God for everything. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for healing me. I, I've had this ulcer from secondary school. I've been prayed for several times, but whenever I go back, it will reoccur again. But just now, as I was standing, after I've been prayed for, it came back again. I started feeling the pain, and I said, no, today there is no going back. I'm not accepting you. And immediately it disappeared. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ulcer healed. Praise the Lord. I want to appreciate God for the word that came our way this evening. The world we are exact and tailor made. I got a call this afternoon before I came for this meeting from the person I intend to do business with. My wife does not even know about the call, apart from those who were with me when I got that call. Nobody else knows about that call. And in this meeting, God mentioned that call and the business. I want to confirm that the words of prophecy that came here, they are not guesswork, they are precise. Praise be the name. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise. Hallelujah. I'm seeing 
I'm seeing a vision. I'm seeing a vision of a particular woman, not less than 50 years of age, a fair woman. She had eye challenge and suddenly is, is becoming blindness. God is showing me somebody's mother here. Your mom is fair. Your mom is not less than 50 years of age. She has an eye disease that has suddenly become blindness. Where are you? Just lift up your hands. God is showing God wants to you. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.